backs up to the line, and it is loud. Three wide receivers, two set to the far side. Stafford sets up in that pocket again, goes up top, and coverage, and incomplete. 0 for 2 start for Stafford in this Tennessee offense. Foster good for five yards a carry, the pitch out. Stiff arm, first down and more, and out of bounds. And the lone back is Foster. Ainge, handoff, coming near side, off the left tackle, nice little move. Can he turn the corner? Ainge in trouble again, throws it out to the flat, a high floater, it's caught by Foster, and again near a heart. And the seventh play of this drive, and again, good push. Left opening quarter, little jump, and now late flags come down, Ainge fires and tracked it complete at the 30-yard line, but flags are down, back around the 34, Luke is second down at seven. Cut back, watch out, wide open. Another cut back and down is Coker. Well, they like this sophomore from at the Georgia 16-yard line. Again, right up the gut. Oh, upended. Back it down. And call it three. Little dance up the middle, little spin move. Touchdown, Tennessee! Arian Foster, who just... Walk back in this game for Coker. Lincoln in to try the extra point. Has not missed a PAT this season. 16 of 16. Ocean Man sets up far side. As Stafford looks, fires a rocket, and it's caught at the 40-yard line. Hard to pick up eight yards on a third and long. Three wide receivers to the far side. Now they throw a man in motion. That's Marino. Stafford back to pass. Tries to take the middle incomplete. Off the hands of Tony Wilson, and that brings up fourth down. Love it. Tennessee with a 7-0 lead starts this drive at the 10-yard line. Ains to play action, throws a top pass to the far side. Is four for four to start this game for 30 yards. That's a pickup of 11. Under five minutes in the quarter. Ains rolls, throws, complete at the 30, 35. Oh, and a hard hit in the back. And they're looking here at third down and call it five. Shotgun, Ainge. Good protection. Steps up and throws. Incomplete. Good job. Across the middle is Prince Miller to knock that. And that's what generated the initial pressure. That was Ricardo Kemp. And Matthew Stafford had nowhere to go. Off the right side. To the 19-yard line. On Georgia early. Now the question is, can they sustain it? In round, now they're going to throw it deep. Cut! Forget it! Forget it! Touchdown, Tennessee! The former high school quarterback, Lucas Taylor. 56 yards, and Coker catches it all by himself, and Taylor. Got to see. Daniel Lincoln. 17 for 17 and closer and really just understand there's a lot of football left pitch Marino Doing their job so they don't give up the big play. That was a great example right there Another big third down here in the first half for Georgia down by a couple of touchdowns third down at six shotgun Stafford throws it over the middle tipped and incomplete boy nearly had a chance for the pickoff around the 45 against Georgia in Athens last year and they pull it off here in Knoxville on first down and 10. Hand off far side, and it's Hardesty. His first carry to the 44-yard line. Ontario Hardesty. And what we're seeing here now. 20 has a good view of that Georgia secondary. Stands up in the pocket, swing shots it across the middle. Rodgers has it at the 30-yard line and move the chains. But once they get the process, who's going where and who's got what? Aaron Rodgers wide open for the big first down there. And fresh downs for Tennessee. Ainge again changing it up with the line of scrimmage. Three step drop throws far side on his cotton driven out. But I'll tell you, they've earned it. They have earned it by playing good football. Hardesty spins inside the 15 yard line. Near side. Handoff off the gut. Breaks one tackle, another. Look at that. Touchdown, Hardesty. Power football. 
Daniel Lincoln, a workout here in the first half. Kicks his third PAT. It was straight up. It were fighting for respect. And so far, I think Georgia's going to give him that respect in the first half. Throw to the flat, far sideline. Caught by Sutherland. The full third down six. The motion man, Massaqua. From the shotgun, go Stafford. Quick drop, quick throw. It's caught. And spinning for the first down. Did he get there? It'll depend on the spot. He did get past what looks to be the 25-yard line. A lot of football left to be played. And these guys are good. They can make it up in a hurry. At the 35-yard line, Tennessee. And Eric Ainge under center. Three wide receivers. Ainge sets up and throws. Caught at the 45-yard line. And he's hit six different receivers so far in this game. And we haven't played a half. Ainge again pulls back and pulls that trigger to the 25. Play action pass here, though. Ainge under center. They're going to go right up the middle. Now they go outside. Foster bounces. And touchdown. 22 yards. It was designed to go up. He went out and races in for another Tennessee touchdown. E. Georgia fans in this building stunned. As those watching around the country, Tennessee fans rejoice. You can't run the ball if you're down 28 points. Third down five, pressure from the corner. Stafford takes a seat. Boy, Tennessee's defense has done rushing yards for Tennessee. Tennessee with a 281 to 43 advantage in total yards. And there's a few more. As Ainge has been able to thread the needle not once, but a couple of times as Lucas Taylor has to make. They've got to step up and force the issue, make a few things happen. Tennessee, four of four of five on third downs, rolling out. And this time, I think Philip Stafford sets up the screen. Marino has room. And maybe a first down at this big target, 6'6", 263, is Chandler. Here's a big third down and six. A little quick slant. Ball was caught. Now they're going to say incomplete. Well, I thought he made a football move, Massaqua, and it was stripped away. Got that kind of relationship. Breaking a tackle out to the 21-yard line is Foster. They're just to quickly follow up. He said, you know what? He maybe doesn't call me right back. <laughs> but, but I can guarantee you Peyton Manning will get back to me within a day or so. Getting him the call back at all tells you where he stands. How about this crowd? 103,000 on their feet. Tennessee puts 28 on the board against Georgia over the last four quarters between these two teams Tennessee has outscored the Bulldogs 65 to 9 balanced offense you saw Brown the shoulder pads are off he will not return so Marino will get the vast of the carries and a good play up to the 45 yard line led by no John Marino redshirt freshman Belford New Jersey important Second down. Over the middle, caught. Big play taken down by Durham. And six, Bulldogs two of nine on third down conversions today. Touch pass to the corner. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Oh, what a catch by Goodman. 26 yards. Great pass. That was a heck, he was in great coverage. He really was. I mean, that was a tremendous effort on Goodman's part. Low snap, picked up by Ainge. Throws in the catch. Austin Rogers breaks a tackle at midfield. All up. Down to five, ticking down to four on third down and 11. Ainge throws it, slings it across the middle. Great catch. And it's Lucas Taylor again. Giving Georgia the ball, his 40. They still got to go 60 yards with the way his defense is playing. I can understand why he'd do it. This is a long yard, yard and a half, and they got it off the left side. And a power run by Foster. With 439 to play, third quarter shotgun is Ames. Low snap. Works it over. Oh, right down the middle. Caught. And a first down. Right. It's hard to stop. 11th play of this drive. Ames, three step drop throws in traffic. And again, another. Third down at two. Pitch out near side. Here comes Foster. Tiptoes down the sideline. Hard line. Foster the lone back for Tennessee. 
Foster. Cuts in, touchdown, balls. Another three touchdown performance. Foster. Career that he goes over 100 yards. Lincoln, the freshman with the X and West Virginia. Those conference games just starting to warm up in the Big East as Georgia goes at play clock to three. Stafford from the shotgun, flushed out of the pocket, throws, caught at the 45. And a big catch by Goodman, who grabbed that touchdown on that last series for Georgia. That's the key. That's not a lot of penalties. That's they've been costly penalties. On third down, Stafford wants the deep ball. Man coverage, far sideline, jump ball, incomplete. The third quarter. Tennessee at the 20-yard line. Ames the handoff. Hardest. Eric Ames gets it off. Up the middle to the 31-yard line. And Hardesty throws the pads down, and that's going to wind down the third quarter. But first, they'll move the chains. 11 ticks left. Rough three quarters for Mark Rick in Georgia. 12th ranked in the country. Oh. Breaks one, two tackle. Shotgun, Eric Ainge. Drops it, makes the read. A little bobble get down in three. As Stanford stands in the shotgun, good protection, throws a dart over the middle, caught by the tight end, Trip Chandler. First and 10 at the 42-yard line, and the Bulldogs are in that hurry-up offense. Play clock to three, to two. Got it off with one to spare. Lumpkin, first carry since coming back from the 100 for Craig Lumpkin as we head to the nine-minute mark. A little quick flip, hot slant, caught. And Will got his legs and fresh and ready to play some more football. Marino replaces Lumpkin. This time, the ball finds Sean Bailey. Goes outside and is met by one, two, three Tennessee chips at the Action Sports World Tour. Back on the ground, up the middle to the five yard line. Marino. Oh, when he's had the balls. Chilling in the NFL. Keeper, they throw. Touchdown, Georgia. Trip Chandler. Cut two with the extra point. Ainge and dumps out one in the flats in Ohio State, Wisconsin. I think one team too, which is a great story in college football. June Jones in Hawaii as Georgia goes up for the deep ball and it's taken down at the 45-yard line. First turnover and look at the emotions as Phil Fulmer just got the Gatorade bucket. <laughs> Can't give credit to the boys up front, but he sure made it look easy today. Third down at eight, under two minutes. A little misdirection is Hancock. A little bit more what they normally would expect from their home team. Lump. Well, for Steve Burline, Craig Bullerjack, we say so long from Knoxville with a final score, Tennessee 35 and 12th ranked Georgia 14.